Okay, today we're going to learn a third way to solve systems of equations, and this time it's called elimination. So um, put a nice heading on your paper, and let's get going investigating why we're going to um, need a third way to solve this. Okay, so here's the system of equations right here, and we've learned a few ways so far to solve this. We could solve it by graphing, or we could solve by substitution. So what I want to do is take a look at this. If we were to solve this using substitution, we would have to solve one of these equations either for x or for y. And if we do that, I don't know if you can think ahead a few steps and see this, but I can tell that if we solved any of these equations for either x or y, we would get a whole mess of fractions. You don't have to um, do this problem just yet, so just watch me do this using substitution. All right, if I solve this one for y, I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides, and I get negative 5y equals negative 2x plus negative 6, and then I'm going to have to divide by negative 5, and then I get y equals positive 2 fifths x plus positive 6 fifths. Okay, and then I'm going to have to take that deal right here and substitute it in here, and look at that, I'm going to have to multiply all those fractions by 7. Okay, so it's going to be just a mess. So we could certainly do it and would certainly turn out right. I'm not saying that substitution wouldn't work here. However, let's learn a different way to go about doing this that will be a lot easier. So um, now I would like you to copy down the original equations and do this along with me. This method is called elimination. And one of the first things you want to do with elimination is you want to make sure your equations are written one on top of the other. Okay, with the x's underneath the x's, the y's underneath the y's, and the constants on the right-hand side of the equation. This is called standard form. Okay, so after you line up um, the x's under the x's and the y's under the y's, what you want to do with this elimination is you basically want to add the two equations together. Okay, and watch what happens when you add them together. You get the 2x plus the negative 2x right here, okay, and that adds, of course, to 0, and eliminating the x's, which is why it's called elimination. Then you can see we're, we're going to add the negative 5y plus the 7y, which gives us 2y, and then we add the 14 plus negative 6, and we get 8. And look at this nice, simple equation that we have left here, 2y equals 8, which you can solve just so easily, and you get y equals 4, okay? And as you know, that's going to be half your answer, because we're going to have an ordered pair as an answer. So we do need to go back up and plug in the 4 into one or the other of the equations to figure out what x is. And it doesn't really matter which equation. I'm just going to pick the first one just randomly. So this equation now says 2x plus negative 5 times whatever y is equals negative 6. And now that we know that y is 4, it looks like this, and again, we can solve that equation really easily. So 2x plus negative 20, it's equal to negative 6. It takes a little second to solve this one, so be patient and see the steps through. Okay, so just finishing up solving this equation, you get 2x is equal to 14, and then divide quickly by 2, and you get x equals 7. Okay, so there you have your complete answer, 7, 4, and look how little work that was compared to what it would have been for substitution. So let's do a little bit more practice with um, some elimination problems, okay, and then um, you're going to try two on your own. Okay, so one of the things I would like you to do one time in your notes is write down these steps. Okay, so step one is to write the equation so that x is on top of x and y is on top of y. Okay, then you want to add them together to get x or y to cancel. Then you're going to solve for the variable that's left over after canceling, and then take that answer and plug it into an equation to get the other, um, and then write your answer as an ordered pair. So if you would write these steps down, okay, pause, and when you're finished writing those steps down, we'll work on this equation together. All right, so step one, write it so that x is on top of x and y is on top of y. Done. Okay, that was already done for you. A lot of times that will be done for you. Okay, the next step is to get x or y to cancel. So we usually do that by adding these two equations together. And notice here that um, the negative 2y and the 2y are going to, once, once we add these equations together, they're going to drop out. Okay, so that's what we're after. So we add 1x plus 5x, and we get 6x, and the negative 2y plus 2y cancel, just like we wanted, then it's important to write down the equal sign, and negative 19 plus 1 is negative 18. Okay, so then it's simple from there to solve by dividing both sides by 6, and you get x equals negative 3. Okay, so we're going to write our answer as an ordered pair, so we're going to wait for that other thing, the other 
um, coordinate. So we got x or y to cancel, and we solved for the variable that was left over. Now we're going to take our answer and plug it into an equation. It doesn't matter which one, okay, but I'm going to go back to the original equations before I wrote all over them, and we're going to plug it into there. So I'm just going to pick the first equation. It's fine with me. And that's x minus 2y equals negative 19. But now I know in place of the x, I'm going to put negative 3 because that's what x equals. And then I'm just going to solve from there. So I add 3 to both sides, and I get negative 2y equals negative 16. Divide by negative 2, and you get y equals 8. Okay, so our answer is 3, neg excuse me, negative 3, 8. Okay, let's go on and try another one. Right, so our first step is to write it so x is on top of x and y is on top of y, and that's already been done for us. Okay, then our next step is to add it together so that it eliminates one of the variables. And in this case, we get 3y, and the x's cancel out in this case, and that's equal to 12. Divide both sides by 3, and we get y equals 4. Okay, we're going to plug that back into either one of those equations, and we get 4 plus 3x equals negative 2. There's a little bit of work to be done here. And you get 3x is equal to negative 6. And divide both sides by 3. And you get x equals negative 2. And we're going to report our answer as an ordered pair xy. Okay. Okay, so here is just, I changed my mind. I'm just going to have you do one example. And this is the one I'd like you to try on your own. Um, and we'll check it in class. All right, thanks. Thanks.